Let's go down and we'll go in there. No, that's all right. It's just whatever. The tube's loose. It's all good now, though? You hope so, right? <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Today we're living in a digital age where practically anyone can review practically anything. It's at an all-time high and the reviews are at an all-time low. People in general are, uh, can be, you know, rude. We're going to visit these one-star review spots and see if in fact they are as shitty as the internet makes them out to seem or if they're just misunderstood. So welcome to One Star Reviews. Today we're starting with the tattoo. So in general, I'm seeing very high ratings for tattoo parlors. Let's go to page 13. Went in way too deep with needles. Severe scar tissue underneath. I don't actually want to physically get injured, so I think we're going to dodge this place. Just going to go ahead and sort by lowest rated. All right, fat cat tattoo. Warning, gross. Nate destroyed my tattoo. I told him it looked like shit. Go to so hell, Nate. Out of Total business. garbage. Nate is hard. Stay far, far away. He told me he wasn't a college graduate, so couldn't take responsibility for misspelling a word like remember. OK. All right, so the fat cat has a lot of negative reviews, in particular targeted towards this guy, Nate. I think for the sake of the show, it's in my best interest to go get a tattoo from Nate and hopefully prove the internet wrong. I'm gonna do the sacred ritual of the one-star review. I haven't really given exactly what tattoo I want much thought, but I am a fan of the beach. I like surfing, I like nature. So I'm thinking that we can come up with some sort of combination of all three. Thank you so much. We're looking for Nate. Yes, how are you? How are you, are you Nate? Yeah. I'm Taji, nice to meet you. What can I help you with? I'm interested in getting a tattoo. All right. And I have a couple initial ideas. Okay. This is really there. nice. Yeah, so under the boat, they put them in the boat. That's so awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. How many fish you got? There's two. Nice. Whoa, what is this thing? Stingray. Little baby stingray, or is that a full yeah. size? No, nah, it's a little, little tiny guy, but you can follow your fingers around. Having a staring contest with it. What do you want to do, you know? I kind of like this kind of look. It's like a guy catching an air on a surfboard. For our purposes, maybe we'll do our own variation. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Lighthouse, sun, your wave, beach, grass. You know what I mean? That's pretty dope. I like the idea, maybe we lose the lighthouse, yeah, potentially. Just... I like that there's a bird flying by, too. How do you feel about birds? Yeah, birds are cool, they fly. Yeah, seagull. Maybe the sun. Fair world, whatever you want. Thanks, man. Well, luckily, I'm not the most uh, particular. Just a little particular, but not, not too crazy. Kind of loose. Well, I start off loose, and I'll tighten it up and tighten it up. Maybe, like, there'll be one kind of main wave that he kind of caught. Not to be a pain in the ass or anything. I don't know if there's, like, a way to just stress a little more that it's, like, one particular yeah. Is there a way? The sun almost to be kind of, like, bleeding through the sky, like, just, like, a little lost at sea, it seems like. The smell of colorful pencil. Like, kind of messy and spray. I like it, I like it. So maybe if those reflected almost on this style. Spirally almost? Oh, got it. So, sorry, I was looking at it sideways. Gives you an idea, just an idea. Yeah. Looking for. Cool. No, I think that's. Yeah. Right. Can we shake on it or what yeah, do we do? Whatever. Now? You're gonna All sign right. your life away now. All right. Cool. Your address. We can stalk <laughs> you. Perfect. Show up at your house in the middle of the night. Excellent. With the design fully locked. That's what he thinks he's gonna get. All right. I was finally ready to get it off the paper and onto my body, as well as get to the bottom of some of these shitty reviews. Take it away, Nate. Good to see you got a fresh needle there. Hmm. Relax, hang out, full deep breath. I think you give him fun. How's that okay? Yeah. I noticed some kind of like negative reviews on the internet in regards to you working with you, but that's not really the vibe I'm getting so far, so I heard I'm just wondering if what's going on with that. Awesome. I had a pretty bad past few years, personally. I was very stressed out. I was super not there. I was more like, you know, it's not. 
on somebody, you know what I mean? Or, or not show up. Most of the time, I wouldn't show up. You can do anything for 10 years, do great. And then one time you mess it, you, you, you're not there, you, you screw something up, everyone remembers that. And have you felt any repercussions from these reviews, or yeah. is it kind of? Yeah, absolutely. I might have not done 100% quality work or whatever they're used to, but no one cares to ask like, what happened or what's going on or whatever. They just jump on a bandwagon and go about their merry way. People have referred to me as like awkward, disrespectful, the people I like interviewed, even though I actually like was really admiring them and not. It was just Probably you know, kind of. Probably that shirt. You know, <laughs> that no, could be it. Yeah, it might be it. Yeah, it's a disrespectful shirt. But I don't really you know, take them to heart. Or you're responsible for someone else's life, like my kid. I mean, then you do. You, you got yeah. no choice. I didn't know what to do. I, mean, I tried to hold on to everything, I tried to hold on, and it just got worse and worse and worse. I think my, my negative reviews came strictly directly from me. I did it. I know what I did. I built this place up, and I knocked it down. But I'm not, you know, I'm gonna work and get it back. So you're feeling better today? Uh, how long you have you? Oh, true. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. There's your surfer. I like it. Happy with it? You like it? Yeah, it's really cool. It's got like a whole airbrush kind of feel to it. It's basically all I could ever ask for in a tattoo. And more. The internet does not seem to be a place where second chances are granted often. I enter the Fat Cat a bit worried, having read a lot of negative reviews on Nate. To my relief, his dedication to tattooing, creativity, and humor immediately became apparent as I entered. I definitely get the vibe that Nate once made it very difficult for his customers to go with the flow, as a result of some demons he was dealing with. However, today he has made it very clear that he has evolved as a person and not going to let his past bring him down. My tattoo may not be the most realistic scene, but the vibe is right, and my experience of hanging out with Nate will last as long as the tattoo. Forever. <laughs>